Hi, welcome to the Bi-Weekly Show. I am Kyle Schickner, and this week I want to address, uh, I guess, the reaction to last week's blog. Um, last week we talked uh, about uh, the Bi community not supporting bisexual uh, artists and, and art and culture. Um, and I thought I would get a lot of blowback from the Bi community about that. Often, you know, when you criticize... Your own community, people sort of, you know, sort of feel like, you know, you shouldn't air dirty laundry. Um, but in fact, uh, that blog got some um, uh, heat by a couple of people in particular. And about being bisexual, bisexual is always complaining and, you know, not working with the gay community. And they brought up a lot, um, it seemed to be their, their concern, and, and we hear this a lot in the in our community from gay lesbian um, folk, is that... Uh, well, you know, if you're in a, if you're in a relationship with someone of the of a different gender, you you're not bisexual. You can't be a part of the uh, the queer community because you are taking part in um, uh, straight privilege, and we hear that a lot. That seemed to be the, the the main sort of issue, and it's interesting because the marriage equality. I mean, it's just within the next two years, every you know, state is going to have uh, marriage equality, and you know, the Supreme Court most likely will 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 uh, rule in, in the favor of, of sanity. Um, and that's going to be interesting because once once gays and lesbians are afforded the same rights as opposite gender couples, um, the folks that sort of hate bisexuals and bisexuality and use the straight privilege excuse that, well, we can't get married, it's not fair, that, that, that excuse is out the window. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see once that... Um, does get taken off the table, where are they going to go now? Because, you know, I've always known, and anyone with any kind of common sense knows, that that, that argument that, you know, you're, you're participating in straight privilege and you're getting straight privilege, like, that to me has always been a bullshit argument. Uh, I fall in love with someone of the opposite gender and I marry them because I can. That's something that, that is afforded to me. It's not, it's, not, it's not a privilege I'm asking for. It is what is there. Um, you're blaming the bisexual community for what the mainstream culture is saying is is appropriate, not appropriate. Um, I know people have gotten divorced because you know, sort of saying in support of that, and that's understandable. But the the, the frustration is the anger towards bisexuals who can, if they fall in love and so want to marry somebody of the opposite gender, the anger should not be directed to us. That has always been such a silly, stupid argument. The the anger is directed, should be directed to mainstream culture. And, uh, you know, I, I, I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the next year or so when, when anyone can get married, and then as they should, and what's going to be happening. So we're still going to hear the same complaints about, you know, you, you know, I knew somebody that broke up with somebody and went with another, with, you know, they're bisexual and they broke up with their lesbian girlfriend to be with a man, and that's why bisexuals are bad. But it's going to take one big, big uh, thing off the table. This whole you're 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 participating in, in 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 straight privilege. And again, it's not a privilege we've asked for. It's not a privilege we want. It's not a privilege those active and out are even fighting for. We are fighting for the same exact thing you're fighting for, which is to be in love and to be with and to marry whomever we choose. And as a bisexual, I can choose to marry a man. I can choose to marry a woman. I can choose to marry someone anywhere in between there. But it isn't my fault that society says I can marry a woman. So you're blaming the wrong person. Um, and I also want to, and, and that's sort of really want to say, I, you know, it's just sort of the marriage equality thing. It's interesting. So, you know, so those that got upset about um, my blog last week, um, and those of you who have experienced people saying it's not fair that you can get married, tell them it's tough shit. This isn't something we've asked for. This isn't our fault. Um, and once that's off the table, let's have some fun watching all of these closed-minded gay and lesbian folk who don't like bisexuals. And I'm not saying all gay and lesbians are like this. I'm just saying those that are closed-minded, those that are filled with hate and anger and, and fear, once they can't say, well, that's not fair. You can get married and I can't. It'll be interesting to see what they do. And, um, I also want to sort of clear something up that I said last week. Uh, I was talking about bi-culture, bi not by the bi-community not 
supported by culture. And, and an example I used, um, a group in Los Angeles called, called Ambi that chose to go see uh, a movie at a gay lesbian film festival that wasn't necessarily bi-related or made by bisexual folk. Instead of going to something that was programmed at opposite, um, that was had by content and was by a bisexual um, filmmaker who, you know, is not sort of some Jane come lately in the community. She's been around. Um, I meant that to complain that that, I don't think that was a good idea. I certainly never meant to say that Ambi doesn't do great, wonderful things. They do support by, by culture. They do support by events. They've been very supportive of my, of my, uh, career and especially my web series. Um, so I wasn't to sort of say Ambi is bad. I stick by, however, that I thought, I think it was a, it was a poor decision to choose a non bi related, um, uh, film as to, as opposed to, to to Nicole Crystal's film. Do you have a cat? That's just my opinion. I think they should have gone there. I think there should have been a big contingent. Again, any any only reason we're going to get any movement is that in, when the gay, lesbian, and straight cultures start realizing that there is a community that will support our art, and it's only a matter of money. It's not a matter of they're biphobic. They're not biphobic. It's a matter of like, oh, we can make a lot of money by programming more bisexual. Uh, films. Um, I've tried to, and I'm so, still hoping to try to, to, to start my own bisexual film festival um, and show the world and we could travel to, you know, different cities and, and show it over a weekend and show the world that there is a lot of really great bi content out there and that um, bi folk will come and support it. Uh, the main problem and the main hurdle I'm having is, is wondering if in fact bi folk will come and support it. I hope they will. Um, I've always jokingly said, I mean, we're, we're very um, disjointed as a community. I've always said that we're the only community that got less organized with the invention of the internet. Um, so anyway, so um, that's it. Have a great week. And uh, I appreciate all your emails and all your ideas for topics. Um, in a couple weeks, where we're going to be going to the... Um, the Bisexual Book Awards, you know, I don't even have the exact information what exactly it's called in New York City. We're going to film that and talk to talk to the uh, the winners and, and the nominees. So we're excited about that. So we're getting some more interviews and going down and interviewing Lorraine Hutchins. Um, anyway, uh, have a great week and uh, stay by.